What's going on guys? Uh, we got back from CMN and we realized that we had a piece of content planned that we tried to shoot as we went through the show and we never recorded an intro for it. <laughs> so here it is. Uh, we tried to do like a little vlog style thing to kind of show you what the behind the scenes of SEMA looked like, but also give you something that was a little bit less produced. Right. right. So it's it's super raw. Um, I mean, th there's like a couple clips in there that are like a little overdone showing like our booth and stuff like that. But it's but, stuff that we've shown throughout the week already. But, but it's it's nothing right. that wasn't like posted on Instagram right. or something like that. So it's it's nothing too crazy. Yeah. Um, we just want to give insight behind the scenes of what it's like uh, at SEMA. So yeah. this is actually Scott's 14th time at SEMA. I think so. I think that Four sounds right. 14th, 14th time. Yeah. And, and it's my first time at SEMA. Yep. So um, here's yep. that video. So it's Saturday, uh, it's pretty early. We got up uh, sometime about four o'clock in the morning so we could be at JFK, get the first flight out to Las Vegas. This is my, fourth, this could be my 14th SEMA. So, I don't know, it kind of feels a little routine, but, but it's always kind of exciting, I guess, to get out there. And there's a little anxiety, I guess, either way. You know, will things be set up or will they won't be? You know, what kind of mess are we looking at when we get there? But, um, you know, for the most part, it's, uh, get the first flight out, get into Vegas, and get a rental car, go right to the convention center, and start seeing what kind of mess we're left with as far as where the booth construction is and stuff like that. So, I don't know, it's gonna be pretty exciting anyhow. I'll, uh, I guess we'll catch you on the other side. So we got into Vegas a little bit ago, and uh, now I'm uh, headed over to South Hall to go see what our booth looks like. Fingers crossed, I suppose. All right, so we're here. This is kind of what it looks like when you first get here. Um, it's uh, it's pretty awful. <laughs> oh, let's see. Let's see if we can swing this around. I can't. Tell. But basically, what happens is here is that you can see behind me. It's empty, and um, it's not good. It's not good. So we basically got to take everything out of these crates and start getting it all set up. And uh, we got to jam four cars in here. <laughs> this is gonna be uh, this is gonna be an interesting uh, an interesting year. We're jamming a lot of things in here, and uh, not exactly sure where they're going yet. <laughs> so it's the end of the day on Saturday. Um, we're kind of kind of beat. It's like seven o'clock this time, so it's ten o'clock uh, Eastern time where we came from, and we got up at like four a.m. So. I think that's it for today. Plus, we're a little light on staff today. We'll have some more tomorrow. We uh, we got those stanchions up. We got that, uh, that booth put together. We got the ring put together. And uh, I don't know. I mean, hopefully tomorrow we can, tomorrow's agenda is we're going to be putting all the wheel racks and uh, all the wheels onto the wheel racks. And then we're gonna start moving in the cars. So let's see, Sunday, we're probably midday today. Um, so far we've gotten the stanchions moved out of the way. We got the sign up, which you can probably see in the, in the background there. And we have also gotten most of the wheels up, which is cool because that's kind of the bulk of what we have to do. We even got one of the show cars in. You can see it's a, it's a Supra and it's sporting some new hypergram finish that you'll probably by now have already seen uh, on our Instagram and our YouTube. So um, so that's cool. And we got some other newbies that are around, but we got some of these wheel booties which you can kind of see over there on the wheels. Um, and we'll take those off probably uh, probably Tuesday morning. We're, we're making progress. We're waiting for a few other vehicles and should have those soon. Vegas, they have slot machines in the airport. What 
What's up guys, it's Nick from Coney here. Uh, I just arrived to Las Vegas. Scott already got here yesterday. I think even the rest of the team got out here yesterday. This is the message I get from Scott as soon as I land. So I'm over here expecting him to pick me up from the airport. And he tells me, this is the hotel we're in and this is the room you're in. Knock on the door, see you tomorrow. So we thought we'd try something new with uh, with the vlog of SEMA. Um, just to kind of show all the stuff that we're gonna be doing throughout the week. I actually need to check my Uber because, you know, thanks Scott, request expired. Anyways, so while I wait for my Uber to get here, we thought it would be cool to, to do some behind the scenes stuff for SEMA and just, you know, show some stuff you don't really get to see. It's it's definitely going to be cool. Uh, and I, w I wonder if Scott did his portion of the vlog. I doubt he did. Just by the way, he, he, messaged, he messaged me earlier. Uh, I said, how'd the vlog to Vegas go? And all he said was, LOL. So uh, I doubt he did a vlog coming to Vegas, but uh, it's all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be handling this. So as I sit here and wait for my Uber, thanks again, Scott. Uh, I think I will just have to say, see you guys tomorrow. Well, hey, Scott. <laughs> so, uh, th thanks for picking me up. <laughs> you told me you were picking me no, up. No, I did not. Yes, you did. I did not. You said you'd be picking me up from the airport as soon as I land. You were like, oh, I'll be there waiting for you when when you land. You said this. What are you talking about? You said this yesterday. No, not yesterday. Uh, Friday. No. Thursday. Whenever, whenever the last time I was there. No. <laughs> we were, no, there's no way. That's what they have cabs and stuff for. No. You said this. You were no. like, oh, I'll, you know, I'll pick you up from the airport, and then Monday we'll head out to... I remember these words exactly. I don't know. I think, <laughs> I think you got a little, little turn around. Anyhow. <laughs> Scott, how's your portion of the vlog going? <laughs> yeah, that's what you said when I texted you, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So we just got to SEMA. Um, a lot of stuff is still being set up. Um, I've just been walking around. This is my first time at SEMA. So there's a lot that I've just been kind of like exploring, looking around. You know, I want to see all the other booths and stuff. Now, let's show you guys the Koenig booth. just did a live stream and a lot of you guys really wanted to see the new cars and the new wheels that we had come out um, so right now I'm currently working on editing uh, a little montage of the of the new Supra uh, this vlog is posted probably the week after SEMA or a little bit after SEMA so you guys probably already saw the montage but yes yeah, so that's pretty much what's going on right now uh, and then we have Scott is over here taking pictures Enjoying the mirrorless life? No. So yeah, Scott's dealing with the behind the scenes over there, uh, and we we don't have any interviews set up, but we are going to be shooting our podcast today. So once we finish up with this, the next objective is to shoot the podcast. So we just filmed the podcast. Scott still hasn't done anything vlog related. That's not uh, necessarily true. There's little oh, stuff. Okay, okay, sorry. He did like Intro. two things vlog related. Yeah. So how how do you think Seam was going so far? Um, I think it's going okay. I think the booth setup has been uh, you know, a little bit ups and downs, but I think the final product is not so bad. You know, tomorrow's a show and it starts and it's uh, it's gonna be interesting to see what people think about the new wheels and get some feedback. So if I hope that you guys have been following us on Instagram and YouTube and stuff and have been leaving some feedback on what you think of the new product. 
Mm. Right. And while we're going live, I think I'm going to set up a camera so we can throw it into the vlog also. Okay. Uh, that way you guys, you know, while watching this video, you don't have to go looking. We'll just, well, insert it right here of you guys seeing the new wheels. Uh, so we're actually wrapping up for our Monday, and I guess we'll see you guys tomorrow, which will be Tuesday, the first official day of SEMO. Yep, that's it. We start uh, start pretty, pretty much early tomorrow. Come in, wipe the cars down, get everything ready, get wheels cleaned off, and get ready to see people. So if you're in town, we will see you. Currently at day two, well, first official day of SEMA. This is my second day here. This is Scott's third day it's here. Day, it's it's, it, day, it's one. day one. Officially, it's day one of SEMA, uh, but I'm, I've been here two days, so technically it's my second day. Scott and I, uh, what are we doing, Scott? I We're going oh. to Central Hall to see Farouk Kugai. Kuwai. What, um, what, is, what does he have? So he's got an E92 BMW, um, and if you know drifting, uh, Farouk was an FD driver uh, for a few years, and he took last year's off. And if you're also on that game of Netflix, um, the show Hyper, Hyper Drive. Oh, right. Yeah, so he's okay. on that. So we're going over there to talk with him and bring you a video of a little car walk around action um, of his car, of his E92. Nice. Yeah, so we're gonna, we, we do car walk arounds. I mean, yep. I, I hope you guys, if you're on our YouTube channel, have seen them. Uh, yeah, and I'm trying to think what else we did. So, let's see, we went live this morning. We did. Uh, did we do any other stuff, really? I mean, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, we've just been posting some behind the scenes content, and uh, yeah, that's kind of it. It's not for nothing, watching the vlog, it kind of looks good coming together, but I don't know if it's just because I enjoy that the story is going together and it's us, or if it's actually like good. Um, it's probably not great because we're not that entertaining, but it's a real, uh... Are you ready? Yeah, I think so. Okay. So what's going on everybody? I'm Scott from Coding. We're here at SEMA 2019. I am here with FD driver, Kuru Kuai. The great drivers together, they're like, what's the craziest thing they do in the car? That was the, that was, that was the question. Right. And then they came up with the craziest stuff they do in the car. Um, and it was pretty fun. So we just wrapped up SEMA day one. Uh, it honestly feels like it's, we're already moving to day three right now. Um, so we're just waiting to go back to our hotel and traffic is ridiculous outside. And it's gonna be impossible to get an Uber. So that's pretty much it for day one. Uh, tomorrow we have a lot more interviews um, and we're just, we're gonna be meeting a few people. So stay tuned for that. Uh, we're doing the walk around of Trevor Jameson's car. Uh, that should be relatively fun. So, see you guys tomorrow. Okay, so we're here at day two at SEMA, um, which is actually our third day here, so it's Wednesday. Currently, I'm working on uploading the podcast because it is Wheel Wednesday, and we did do a podcast on Tuesday or Monday. Uh, I don't remember. We do, I know we shot the podcast already. Um, right now, we're just working on cleaning up the cars. Uh, all the wheels are already out on display. Uh, I'm just kind of tidying everything up before we get started with the day. Uh, right now, it's 8.30 and we have about a half hour before people start getting here. And as soon as we start, we I think we already have uh, well, one thing scheduled at 9 o'clock to film. I have to double check with Scott. And then uh, we're just going to be filming stuff throughout the day. So I already showed you some of the stuff that's in our booth, but I didn't really show you all of it. So outside of our booth, we also have two other cars. So you saw the two Supras, the MK4 and the MK5 Supra, or A90 Supra. Um, but we also have a Tesla Model 3. We have a Jeep Gladiator. So the reason we have both of these cars is because we also have two other brands that are with us uh, that we also take part in designing the wheels and manufacturing and all that stuff, uh, which is Advanti Racing and Mamba Wheels. So Mamba is a truck brand and Advanti is like, a different luxury lifestyle kind of kind of wheel company. So this is the Tesla that we have in the booth, and then this is the Gladiator that we have. It's got our Mamba wheels on it. And then this is the wheel wall. So we have our Mamba wheels over here. We're also displaying them on the side over here. And then if you walk around to the back, you'll see the Avanti stuff. So 
I just thought I would share that with you guys in case you didn't know that we also take part in those companies as well. Uh, I definitely recommend checking them out. They also have some really cool wheels um, and I'm pretty sure we also came out with some new designs for them also. So you know, give it a try. You know, it's, I, I feel like I have a pretty, you know, kind of pick up and like intuitively, like I did a lot of construction stuff in the ground. So I've always been kind of a cat. So it's two o'clock right now here at the Koenig booth and Trevor is actually just getting ready to do some autographs. Um, it looks like we have a little bit of a line outside already. So I think it's it's gonna be a pretty good turnout. Um, so we just finished doing both a podcast and a car walk around with Trevor. Uh, we put Scott on camera for this one, so you guys he doesn't want to vlog. Uh, Lou. Ooh, hey guys. I don't, you guys don't know uh, Lou, but uh, he's, I'm behind uh, the scenes. He's, he's behind the scenes. He's one of our sales guys. Um, sales, right? Yeah. Yeah, sales. Yeah. I forget sometimes. But uh, but yeah. So this is uh, Trevor doing. I have Kelvin and Brian here and they brought us cookies from Hawaii for Scott. And this is like, you guys watch our podcast, I'm assuming. Of course. Nice. What do you guys think of the podcast? Um, it's good. Information is good. Yeah. And, uh, I like the interaction. Yeah. yeah. So if there was, if there was something you wanted to see more of, what do you think? That would be so like like any type of content idea video wise mm -hmm. be youtube i like the more instructional stuff you know it kind of helps teach other users like about how how do you want to make your wheels fit you know help the new guys how to make their car look good you know and i like i would like to see more maybe some more sports stuff if anything yeah oh like yeah. at the shows and stuff yeah yeah Let's see what these cookies are all about. Honolulu Cookie Company. So, so the deal with these is uh, these two dudes mm. came over and gave them to us uh, all the way from Hawaii. So these okay. are these are Hawaiian cookies. Yeah. Um, you can have one, and then I, I need to share them with Scott. So uh, okay. yeah, how uh, how is it? What flavor is it? Can you tell? I don't know. No. Kind of tastes like coffee. Maybe that's just yeah. the flavor I'm getting. Yeah, I'll just talk to you a bit later. Yeah. Giving Scott the cookies. Scott's responsible for them. Well, we... you. Yo, listen, listen, seriously, thank you so much. This really, really means a lot. You brought these all the way from Hawaii. And this dude's been coming by SEMA for, for a couple years now. He always stops by to say hello. So, really appreciate it. Thanks so much, man. Really. Uh, Trevor and the guys and I kind of already sampled some. So, uh... So what? We, we already sampled some. <laughs> so is there in here? No, no, there is, there is, there is, there is. There's, there's, there's a lot of cookies in here. Oh, there's a lot of cookies. Yeah, we, like we, we each had one. There's four of us. Oh, we have four of them. No, that's, so. I don't, I don't care. That's, that's awesome. Still. Seriously, we're sharing with the guys, and uh, I really appreciate it. It's nice that you, you know, thought of us to carry them all the way from Hawaii. So we're wrapping up day two of SEMA right now. Uh, we did a lot of stuff today. We did a kind of like podcast interview, just kind of mixing it up in between them. Uh, it's actually starting to empty out. So the booth is, well, you can see for yourself. Like, it's empty right now, it's dying down. So we're gonna get out of here. Uh, tomorrow we have a few things lined up. I can't tell you off the top of my head. Um, but yeah, so we will see you tomorrow at SEMA day three. All right guys, so it's currently day three at SEMA and we have a lot to do today. So right now I'm just getting set up because we have a podcast going on. Um, so we're doing a podcast with Speed Academy um, and then it's, it's gonna be super packed day. So at 10 o'clock we're doing something with Savannah Little. Um, one o'clock we have uh, Chris from Beast for Bill is gonna be coming by. So he's, he's gonna be doing autographs and that's supposed to be a super, super good turnout. Um, at 11 a.m. we're gonna try and do uh, a walk around with Donovan. Uh, let's see, four o'clock, Kelsey Rowlings. Let me see. And then around 11.30, we gotta get footage for for Chris's car from Beast for Build. And then we have Scott over here, who, who also hasn't been vlogging because he's been crazy busy in meetings and all that other stuff, is gonna be running the podcast. But this is just, bye Barry. Um, but this is just like a vlog, so Nick's, uh, you know, making sure that I'm included, you know? Uh, that's, that's our goal when we're trying to walk here. The good thing is with me, 
is that they uh, people only tend to run after me with a sponsorship proposal. Yeah, yeah. All right, that's it for this. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe, all that good stuff. For more information on the podcast, head over to coningwheels.com forward slash podcast. I'm doing a, I'm doing a vlog. <laughs> I'm doing a vlog here, right? So uh, we're over here at the Yellow Sea Suspension booth. And we're hanging out with uh, Donovan Brockway. I don't know which way I'm supposed to hold this camera or where it faces. We picked up a straggler along the way. He was uh, hanging out there. That's uh, Travis Reeder taking a look at the goods. Um, damn, this thing is nice. Guys, it's like attention to detail, like things like making sure that when you uh, make custom parts that you actually like powder coat them and make them look well. Look at all that heat shielding. This car is tight. And next setting up. So we just finished doing the walk around with Donovan. Um, Scott and Travis kind of abandoned me because they need to rush back to, well, Scott needs to rush back to the booth. Uh, and Travis is kind of hanging out with us today. Um, but yeah, so now I might go do a walk around with Eric. I have to see if I have enough time to do that. And then Chris from Beast for Bill is going to be coming over to our booth so he can do his autograph signing. All right, so we're just finishing up. Chris from B is for Bill just left. Uh, he's a super cool dude and was hanging out for a while. Stayed a lot longer than he was planning to, um, but he does that stuff because he's a cool guy. Um, and I don't know. Uh, we're just getting ready to do a podcast uh, with Mike Sabunchi, so look out for that. And I don't know. Catch you later. Sam, Sam's getting jealous of Mike because now he's in the spotlight. Hey. Can you hold this for a second? Is this like super in the frame? Yeah. 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 Yeah, we can. This is the Good. Nick cam. It's gotta be it. There you go. <laughs> What's going on? I'm Scott Wukone, and this is Mike Samuji. Alright, so we missed it before, but a really funny story just happened. So, yep. we pulled into the driveway after dinner, and... We, we're, we're, searching through the, we're searching through the parking garage, we're driving all over the place looking for right. just one empty spot. So we see one, we pull in, and lo and behold, there's this Civic sitting next to us. On that, friggin' hypergrams. Right? But so here's the catch. We look and we see he's missing a center cap on the right side. Then we go over to the other side and realize he's missing two we're more We're just like, caps. damn. So, so, so Scott was like, oh, we should do an Instagram story. And we'd be like, hey, uh, wh whoever's Civic this is on the hypergrams right, at, at the, the stratosphere, stratosphere uh, message us, tell us what your license plate is, and you know, obviously, if it's your license plate, then we'll, we'll send you a free set of center caps. So I pull out my phone to start recording Scott so we could, so we could do the story. And as soon as I pull out my phone, the car goes, and we, were, we looked at each other, and we were like, wait no. a second. We're like, like, we look around, and we can't, we don't see like, anything. We don't see we anybody, don't and look, so the dude was like that far away, like where we just came from, and he's standing here by the elevator, and I, I like I see him pressing the button. And I'm like, "Yo, is that your car?" And the dude's just like, slowly walking over, like creeped out. Like, all right, what what the hell happened? Yeah, like, because there's like because there's like, like car. Because there's like four of us all standing around, basically yelling, "Is this your car?" Kind of thing, right? So all of a sudden, the dude comes walking down really slow, and we're like, "Is this your car?" And he's like, he's like, uh, "Yeah, why?" Right? And we're like, we're like, "Oh, we're from Koenig." And he's like, "No way!" And he starts freaking out, and he's like. He, well, not freaking out, but he starts basically telling us how, like, um, 
know, he got the wheels like when they first came out, and he's driven like 25,000 miles a year for the past like three or four years, and um, and like all this different stuff. So anyhow, so we gave him a card, and uh, we'll be uh, sending him a set of center caps. But bottom line is, we missed the entire thing. <laughs> So we're back at SEMA, if you guys haven't noticed, this is our booth. Uh, right now Scott has me taking photos of everything we have in the booth before it gets crowded and he is over here making the cars look pretty. So right now we have a podcast going on with the Rag Company, uh, so this is actually going to be their podcast and we might take a little bit of it later on and put some on our channel, but for right now this is their shoot. Uh, Kind of just assisting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Mike this is uh this Mike, is them. Mike, checking account. Opening a checking account. Mike, Mike, check. There's a lot of check. I'm yeah. just like, he's usually like doing Mike check, and I'm like, check. Scott just finished uh, the podcast with the Rag Company. Uh, super good turnout. Uh, I, I think it was a really good podcast. Uh, right now, I'm currently in the process of offloading all the SD cards. I have to do a list of things that, that we're going to be getting done today. So I need to go back to Furu Kawhi's car, uh, get some B-roll. Uh, I need to do a walk around with Eric Cattill, uh, Donovan Brock, Brock Way, Brock, sorry, Donovan's car. Uh, I need to get some B-roll of it for the podcast slash walk around that we did yesterday. Uh, I need to get some B-roll of Ivanti Mamba. I need to, well, behind the scenes stuff, but I've been I've been doing that already. Uh, Alec Robbins, we have a podcast with him at one o'clock. There's a couple other ideas that we want to try to implement, but it's it's kind of hard seeing as we're running out of time. It's currently 9:50. And we have to wrap up at five o'clock and we have to be ready to go. And I need to be out of here by six o'clock because I have to be at the airport by seven o'clock. Um, that's pretty much it. That's all I really have to shoot today. Honestly, like the whole SEMA experience has been really cool. Uh, this is my first SEMA. This is Scott's like 17th SEMA, 20 something. I don't know. He, he's done a lot of these already. Uh, but it's a really cool experience to be at SEMA. But we are going to do at least one more podcast or one more type of video talking about what it's like at SEMA. Uh, and I might even turn this one to that. So stay tuned for that. So one of the most annoying parts is copying all the, the footage that we shot over. Uh, in the beginning of the week, it was it was cool because I was able to like bang out edits really fast. But right now, I'm currently copying all the stuff from one hard drive onto another hard drive. But I started doing some of it, and I stopped doing some of it, and it's just been it's been a huge mess. And I'm just kind of realizing that this doesn't really pertain to SEMA content, but I'll keep it in here anyway. Um, and it says like each one of these folders is going to take about an hour to. So I'm just kind of waiting for this to finish. We finished shooting the podcast with, I don't even remember who we were shooting the podcast. Oh, we were shooting a podcast with Alec Robbins. And now Scott is taking photos as one of the last things that we're doing before we get out of here. I'm gonna sneak in on, uh, on Trevor's vlog. I'm vlogging your vlog. You're vlogging me vlogging? Yeah. That's good. Now. You're raising up the front and the rear or just the. Uh... Just the front so we get in the trailer so it clears the bumper. Nice. So SEMA is now over. I mean the whole thing. The cars are gone and we're about to rip these wheels down, take this sign down, uh, pack everything up and as long as we get our crates in time we should have the wheels back in the box and be on the way to an airport within a few hours. That's uh, that's the goal. Next, so, so we, we hope you on. found some value in this and uh, some insight to what a SEMA week is like. Um, 
and this is probably the second or third time Scott has ever touched his GoPro to vlog. You know, so this is ridiculous. Is this is ridiculous. There's a lot of criticism going on, but your job is only to film. All right, guys, so that's it. Uh, that was kind of our week in review. Uh, we hope you like this vlog style thing. If you do, go ahead and comment below. Let us know if, like, it was interesting or not or whatever give it may be. Give us a thumbs up, yeah. thumbs down. Don't give us a thumbs down. Give us a thumbs up. Yeah, don't say a thumbs down. <laughs> um, we know it was a little bit long, so you might have skipped around a little bit, but hopefully this gave you some insight of what it looks like behind the scenes at SEMA and kind of some of the things that we go through uh, that are usually not on camera. So we hope you enjoyed it. I hope so. <laughs> right, right. Uh, let us know below uh, if you did enjoy it, what you enjoyed about it, if you want to see more of this type of stuff. And uh, I guess that's it. We'll catch you next time.